Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is The Best MEDC. And today, I want to talk to you about something that is brand new. This is actually currently a Kickstarter, and it's from my buddies over at Big Ada Design. They are professionals at Kickstarter by now. This is their 34th campaign. It's already successfully funded, but I told them that I would take a look at these pins, and if I liked them, I would share them with you guys. And of course I did, because Joe and Chad, they're really good at making pins. They've been doing this for a long time. They make some of my favorite pins that I've had since I started this channel. And uh, this is no different. The bolt action pin is something that you guys have been asking for from Big Edit Design for a long time. And now it is finally a thing. So this is the bolt action from Big Edit Design. And let's do the damn thing. So you guys are familiar with Big Idea Design by now. They specialize in pins, but they also make lots of different tools. I covered the Bitbar inline recently. I have my own tool by them, the TPT slide with the Topo on it. Huge fan of their pocket tools and everything they do, their killer dudes. But you guys have been asking them to make a bolt action pin for a long time, and it's finally here. And uh, I don't know this for sure because I haven't talked to Chad or Joe about it, but I'm, I'm pretty positive that they wanted to do this the right way rather than just make another bolt action pin. They wanted to do it the big idea design way and they obviously did it in a way that keeps their design language and it matches their aesthetic perfectly. Like it fits perfectly between the TI Pocket Pro and the TI Click. I mean, it looks exactly like what you would expect it to look like, but unlike some of the newer pins, the mini pins specifically, which don't work with a ton of different refills, those work with a very specific refill. All of the other big idea design pins work with 100 plus refills. I think, I think this one, the TI Pocket Pro is like 70-ish, but still they work with a ton of different refills and, and that's the key difference with this bolt action pin, what sets it apart from all of the others. And let me show you what I mean. Let's take the tactile turn pins, for example. And this is not a knock on tactile turn by any means. I love the tactile turn pins. In fact, uh, the bronze mini and short are two of my most carried pins, period. Uh, but the, the approach is, is basically they're taking on the same problem, but approaching it from two different ends. So with Tactile Turn, you choose the pin based on the size that you want and the refill that you like. And with Big Idea Design, you choose the pin you like, and then you can choose whatever refill you want after the fact, for the most part. So with Tactile Turn, you have three different sizes, the full size, the short, and the mini. And this one takes a Pilot G2, this takes like a Parker style, and then this one takes a G2 mini refill. Uh, the Big Idea Design pins don't go quite so short to, to take a G2 Mini, but they come standard with a Parker style, but they will go up to a G2 size without problem. So you can take out the standard Schmidt gel or Schmidt <laughs> Schneider Jellion 39. Actually, I have a Schmidt Easy Flow in there, so never mind. Ignore me. Put in the other one. I would advance the bolt so you can see where that tip is going to end up. And there you go. So you have a G2 style refill in the bolt action from Big Idea Design. And you can see if you level those up, it just adds about a quarter inch to the length of the pin. And you can put a host of different sized refills in there. So you don't quite get as short as the tactile term with the G2 Mini, but you can see with a Parker style refill in this bolt action, it is still not much taller than the tactile turn, maybe an eighth of an inch, a little more, maybe a quarter inch, but it's still extremely small, even with a Parker style refill. And even with a full size like G2 refill, it is shorter, significantly shorter than the full size tactile turn. And while we're at it, let's just talk about the different materials that they're gonna come in. So we have all the titanium ones here. We have a raw machine titanium DLC black, and then the bead blasted. And then this one is also a new material from Big Eye. This is zirconium, which I'm very happy to see added to their lineup. And I don't have them here, but you're also gonna have copper and brass options in the bolt action as well. 
So the pricing on these is gonna vary just a little bit. All of the copper, brass, and titanium ones are gonna be $89 for the Kickstarter campaign. And then the zirconium one obviously is gonna be a little more expensive. This one for the Kickstarter is 200. After the Kickstarter, these are gonna all go up to 100 and then the zirconium one is gonna go up to 250. So you can save a little bit of money by backing the Kickstarter. And then there's one other little thing here. You may notice that one of these is facing it in the opposite direction. And that's because if you look at the back of this and compare it to the TI Pocket Pro, it's a little bit different. It's got a screw in the end and that is a T8 Torx and that allows you to flip a clip around. I'm actually gonna flip one of these. We'll do the DLC one. So you just unscrew that, pull it, flip it, and screw it back in. And you have flipped your clip to the other side of the pin. That doesn't sound like all that big of a deal. For left-handers, it can be. I'm left-handed and it doesn't seem to bother me. I've used dozens of different bolt action pins and it's never really bothered me. But with certain pins, it, it certainly can. I have the bolt liner from uh, Tie 2 Designs and this one, just the way the bolt is positioned in the clip, you have to hold this pin like this. This is the only way that you can hold the bolt liner, which can get a little bit annoying. But with this, if this configuration doesn't work out well for you as a left-hander, you can flip the clip around. But there is one more thing to note about the clip position. As you notice with this standard configuration, the bolt never really interacts with the clip, never gets in the way, nothing ever touches anything. If you flip the clip around, it doesn't really touch, but it does kind of interfere with the path a little bit, especially with how your thumb is gonna reach it. It's not really in the way, and I understand that people sometimes want like a reversed actuator. So let's say that we'll call this an L or a J. They would like it to actuate in the opposite direction for a left-handed model. Um, again, it's never really bothered me as a left-hander. I, I use the bolt action pins just the same. And if I'm fidgeting, I'm typically fidgeting with the right hand anyway. So as far as the Kickstarter campaign goes, it's already successfully funded with over $200,000 pledged so far but they have a stretch goal in place already. If they reach $250,000 pledged, they will upgrade everybody's order with free Timascus bolt. So you'll get that in addition to the standard bolt that comes with the pin, which I think is really cool. The campaign will be running through the rest of this month and a little bit into August. There's uh, 30, 29 days, I think by the time you see this video left in the campaign. But yeah, I really like the bolt action. And the main reason for me is that my original favorite pin was the the Pocket Pro, the TI Pocket Pro from Big Ada Design. And then they came out with the TI Click and I liked it even more because I preferred the click action. The problem was that it was a little bit bigger, right? And I liked how compact this one was. This splits the difference almost perfectly. It's more compact than the click and I like the action better than the TI Pocket Pro. And this one just naturally became the one that I carried out of all three of these. The one I've been carrying most until the the bolt action came is actually the uh, click mini click. I, I really like how small these are and I like the click action. So you get a little bit smaller than the TI Pocket Pro, but sometimes this just feels almost a little too small. So I, I think, I genuinely think this is my new favorite big ID design pin. It's bolt action, it's adaptable, it's small, compact, and it comes in zirconium. What's not to like? If you back the Kickstarter campaign, they're expected to ship in November. So if you wanted to get one of these for uh, a gift for the holidays, that is totally feasible. And Chad and Joe are very experienced at getting these Kickstarter campaigns out and shipped on time. I'm pretty confident in saying that you could get one of these as a Christmas gift for someone, or maybe even for yourself, if you wanna treat yourself and, and get it in time for the holidays. So there you go. That is the bolt action pin from Big Ida Design and uh, Man, I'm pretty hyped on these. I think they're really, really nice. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support what I'm doing here, hit the links in the description down below. I've got other big idea design stuff. You can get actually 10% off on their website if you use my code CARRYON and you can go to their Kickstarter. You can support by doing that as well. You can also go to carrycommission.com where you can buy gear and merch directly from me and you can also support by going to patreon.com forward slash bestmbdc. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us at most places at best MEDC. And of course, until next time, carry on.